cannot make assumptions that just because the disease is on the way down now that it's, on a, it's, on, it's going to keep going down and then we're going to get a number of months to get ready for a second wave. The World Health Organization is warning that the world is in the midst of a first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, and we should all be prepared for another wave of the virus to appear sometime later this year. Emergency room phys physician, excuse me, Dr. Jeff Gusky says when the virus comes back, it could be worse. And he joins us now to discuss his thoughts on the topic. And you believe all this has to do with the air, that humidity will start to slow the spread, but that cool, dry air of fall will lead around two? Louisiana uh, native said, it's the economy, stupid. James Carville. Right. And what I have to say about COVID is it's the weather, stupid. <laughs> it's the weather that has caused um, the, the hot spots in every place. Because when you get dangerously dry outdoor air, buildings breathe. And we don't realize that indoor air becomes dangerous. And in dangerously dry indoor air, COVID spreads like wildfire. What happened in New Orleans is a perfect example. Louisiana is the last place you'd expect a hot spot if COVID is tied to humidity. But on the two peak days of Mardi Gras this past year, a freak weather event occurred and you had dangerously dry indoor air. No one knew it and the bomb went off and spread it throughout the state. Had we had advance warning of that weather, the tragedy of New Orleans could have been prevented. Wow. Well, how do you, okay, so what does the air temperature need to be in, indoors? Because It's nothing to do with temperature. Okay. It has to do with a metric that we don't hear about on the weather services called absolute humidity. Okay. That's related to the amount of water in the air. And it's very similar outdoors to indoors. And it's something, it, it's a predictable, preventable indoor air emergency that causes COVID danger. So why the flu season um, is, is so important uh, and it's only four months away is that even a place like New Orleans as so tragically uh, was witnessed in, in Mardi Gras can have adverse weather events that can expose uh, the people of, of Louisiana to COVID danger. Yet it's so easy to fix. Okay, how? It's just a matter of humidifying the indoor air getting it making red air what i call red air green uh green air is with humidity between 50 and 60 percent round the clock and we need to start doing that now in particular because of another related story that a courageous louisiana journalist who now heads the uh, black news channel uh news team fred hickman had the courage to report on which is that we hear about African-American risk and higher death rates. Right. And people have said it's because of inner city poverty. There's another factor that affects even an African-American billionaire living a, on a mountaintop in, my, in Wyoming. Okay. It, it's that there is a genetic vulnerability to COVID in African-Americans. It's also tied to the, what's happening with the children. And the science is very solid and no one's talking about it. And it's, it's wrong. African-Americans need to know the danger and, and we have to face it in order to fix it. Well, how, how do you face it? Tell us more about that. You face it, we face it by, by officials being upfront with African-Americans about this risk and looking seriously about what we need to do to, to help uh, prevent vi small viral outbreaks from becoming massive COVID bombs, which is the best we can hope for. Uh, and that means uh, a very rapid program to humidify indoor spaces, starting with nursing homes, prisons, meatpacking plants, mm -hmm. hospitals, and moving quickly to homes. Everyone should have a humidifier going around the clock to keep the indoor air humidity between 50 and 60%. And the same with businesses, with you know hotels, with the, the whole tourism industry in New Orleans could be revived with just this information. I have a program called Humidity Saves Lives, which is a simple plan okay. to keep us safe. First, by making invisible danger visible, and then by making that invisible danger safe, simply by adding water to the air we breathe indoors until humidity is between 50 and 60%. And everyone should look at Fred Hickman's reporting on the Black News Channel about, a, about it was May 15th. Uh, you can see it on my YouTube channel, and he breaks the story. So many... Kudos to that Louisiana journalist.